Has someone you really care about stopped talking to you? It sucks, doesn't it? So what can you do about it? And what does it mean? What does it mean about you? What does it mean about them? Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to give you some tips on how to heal that heartbreak and that pain when somebody that you care about just ghosts you. Here's the show reel. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> the number one, let me say that people that ghost others are just pretty much immature, right? I mean, if someone can't say, hey, I don't want to talk to you anymore, or hey, I'm upset, or hey, this isn't really working out for me, but thanks for your time and your energy, that's not a person you want to be around anyway, right? Am I right? I mean, but it still hurts, right? Because you still go, what did I do? What did I say? What happened to them? Especially if you've known them for a long time. But let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a job and you used to hang out with your coworkers? Or maybe you were in school with somebody and you hung out a lot. And then once the situation changed, you stopped hanging out. Like the relationship was a little bit more out of convenience because you worked together or were in school together or were in a project together. And then once that got over, you both went your separate ways, even though you intended to keep hanging out. Have you ever lost communication with somebody you meant to stay in communication with? Yeah, so that's why it's so important for us to step back when someone ghosts us, where someone stops talking to us and realize that maybe this is actually just a natural transition in the relationship. In other words, we can start looking at what did I do? What did I say? Because it's true. There could be something about our interactions that were triggering for that person. Maybe we're going through something in our life that was hard for them to deal with. Or maybe there's something going on in their life that they're having a struggle dealing with. When our relationships are only via text, maybe we've seen each other once, maybe we've video chatted once or twice, often we get bored, right? There's not enough connection. Most texting relationships only last one month and then people just disappear off the face of the earth. There's nothing you can do about it. So sometimes that ghosting comes from just a plain old simple lack of connection and people are not into it anymore. Another thing I've seen with ghosting, right? Because we've all been ghosted, sometimes by people we've known for one day, for a little while, sometimes by people we've known for years, is that usually that other person was harboring something. They weren't saying what they wanted or what they needed. Maybe they were feeling hurt. Maybe they were feeling unheard and just could not get the balls to communicate. Right? So they don't communicate. They think that you're going to help take care of them or they think that you're going to reach out or do more for them or be more for them in a different way, but they never tell you. And then so internally they start getting let down and they start feeling like you don't care. And so then they just go away because it's easier than saying like, hey, I'm feeling hurt. I'm feeling unheard. And then you miss out because they were too insecure or too unable to have a good conversation, right? And that doesn't reflect upon you or who you are. So we need to let that go. And just realize that, you know, some relationships last for, what do they say, a reason, season, a lifetime, right? Relationships for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And maybe that reason was you were supposed to trigger them or they were supposed to trigger you. You were supposed to have a certain moment or a certain interaction kind of as catalyst where you come together, you have that moment and then you come apart. So the biggest takeaway I want for you is no matter how this happened, how you ended up get, getting ghosted, don't feel bad. Don't pretend like it's your fault. If that person could not communicate with you, and just walked away, that shows their immaturity level. That shows that they are not uh, emotionally aware enough and communicative enough to be that person that you want in your life anyway, whether as a friend, whether as a lover, whether as even sometimes a family member, right? And we can do our own work to heal that, which I really recommend. Do some tapping work, do some journaling, get out the anger, get out the frustration, but really come to a place of knowing it's not about you, it's only about them. Above all, and one last thing, everybody, is just remember that you are love, you are loving, and you are lovable. And the ghosting is not about you. And what I'd like you to do 
is write down all the things you did right in the relationship, all the ways you tried to be there, that you tried to be supportive, you know, that you tried to get back to them via text or via email or whatever it was, and just honor that in yourself. Journal it, think about it, and really understand that it's not about you, it's about them. So forgive yourself, let go. Did you know that the ultimate form of unconditional love is allowing a person to go and be with somebody else? Think about it. If you really care for a person and want the best for them, you want the best for them whether that's with you or not. So take that into consideration and let go and move on. Because after all, they're the ones that left without saying a word. So that's on them. I hope this was helpful, even a little bit. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and there's more coming.